All right, so how do we solve this problem analytically? Well, uh, this is actually a, a pretty simple one because it's a separable differential equation. So let's see how. Uh, let's move down, get a little space. Actually, before we do, uh, let's take this with us. Okay. Now, uh, this is mostly just an academic exercise to see that you know how to do it. I mean, uh, if we're really going to do it, um, well, I mean, it's always good to, yeah, it's nice to go through the math and everything, but we can have uh, Wolfram Alpha or, or, or Maxima or, or MATLAB or uh, any symbolic solver do this uh, for us. Uh, so, uh, but, but it's not that hard, so we'll just do it by hand. So uh, dy, the first thing we're going to do is recognize that we can factor a y out of here. So dy dt equals uh, y times t cubed minus 1.5 and if we distribute the y it'll be the same thing. Okay so now we can we can separate this so we have uh, and, and, and integrate so we'll have the integral from y initial to y of um, 1 over y dy equals so because we, we just took the y to the other side divided by y uh, both sides by y is equal to uh, the integral from 0, because this time starts at 0, uh, to t of, um, well, let's see, of t cubed minus 1.5, and that's uh, dt. And so when we do this integration, we've done this before, uh, we're going to get uh, ln of y and, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it. So we plug it in. I'll be ln of y minus uh, ln of y naught uh, is equal to. Uh, so this this indefinite integral is going to be like uh, t to the fourth over four minus uh, 1.5 uh, t. Right. So we're gonna. Uh, and then and then we're going to plug in uh, t and zero. So if we plug in zero, this is all everything's going to go away. So we'll just have is equal to uh, t to the fourth over four uh, minus 1.5 t. Okay, great. Now uh, we can uh, do um, put e as a base on both sides to get rid of these ln's. So uh, e to the ln of y um, minus uh, ln of e to the ln of yeah let's just write it out so we don't mess up minus ln of y naught and again uh, our y's um, yeah well we can do that uh, is equal to um, t e to the t the fourth over 4 minus uh, 1.5 t and so this is going to be uh, e to the ln of y over uh, e to the ln of y naught um, and then and this e and the ln will cancel each other out so we're just going to have y over y naught y over y naught equals e to the t this isn't negative is it t to the fourth over four minus 1.5 t and so we're almost there y equals y naught e to the t well because we've got a 1.5 here and we got a fraction here I'm just going to make them all uh, uh, decimal 0 0.25 t to the fourth minus 1.5 t. Okay, so that is our exact solution. And of course, if we plug in y not equals 1, then it'll just obviously you see that goes to 1. And that's the analytical solution for this problem. Now, as I said, we could have solved this by hand, uh, or, or we could have solved this uh, with a computer or something. And so let's just go to Wolfram Alpha and check our answer. Uh, dy dt equals y t 
cubed minus 1.5y. Um, we can solve this. Okay, so it, um, it got it. It was able to factor it for us. Um, so we assumed it was real. That's nice. And here's the solution. y of t equals c1, and we already know that c1 is equal to y naught to e to the 0 0.25 to the fourth uh, minus 1.5t.